Art has always been a reflection of the human experience, capturing beauty, emotion, sometimes the darker aspects of our psyche. The paintings on this list aren't just dark in theme though, it's the backstory behind them that adds a whole new layer of terror. I'm your host James and these are the top 10 disturbing paintings from history that hold dark secrets. And we're starting off the list with Van Gogh's self-portrait with a bandaged ear. On the night of December 23rd, 1888, Vincent Van Gogh suffered a severe mental breakdown and cut off a portion of his ear uh, with a razor blade. He wrapped the severed ear in newspaper and gave it to a woman at a nearby brothel before returning home. The exact reasons behind this act and even the sequence of events themselves are still a bit foggy, but it is widely believed to have been a result of his deteriorating mental health. He'd also been having an intense argument with a fellow artist that night. Van Gogh was taken to a local hospital in Arles, France, where he was treated by Dr. Felix Ray. In an attempt to understand the extent of his injuries, Van Gogh created a self-portrait with his ear bandaged up. He painted this self-portrait as an attempt to convince doctors he wasn't in insane and as a way to document his physical and mental state during the time. At number 9 we have the Fairy Feller's Master Stroke. This is a famous painting by English artist Richard Dadd. It took him 9 years to complete, painting it between 1855 and 1864. It's a pretty spectacular piece depicting this fantastical scene with tiny fairies, elves, and other mystical creatures. Highly detailed and very intricate. At first glance, it looks like a whimsical fairy tale kind of scene, but behind its charming facade lies a dark and tragic backstory involving the artist himself. Richard Dad was a talented and promising young artist, but his promising career was cut short due to his deteriorating mental health. In 1843, while traveling in the Middle East, Dad suffered a severe mental breakdown. It was convinced that he was under the influence of the Egyptian god Osiris. In a fit of madness, he believed he needed to take the life of his own father, which he tragically did. Following this incident, Dad fled to France, but was soon arrested and extradited to England. In 1844, he was declared insane and committed to the Bethlehem Royal Hospital, a psych Psychiatric institution in London. It's during his time at the hospital that he began working on the Fairy Feller's Master Stroke. The painting's intricate details and elaborate composition really reflect Dad's obsessiveness. He worked on the painting meticulously, spending years perfecting every tiny figure and element. You can see those those flowers in the background. They look like real flowers. It's insane. It's an amazing piece, but knowing the context definitely takes on a a different meaning. Next on the list we have Saturn devouring his son and by extension the black paintings by Francisco Goya. The black paintings are a series of 14 paintings created by the Spanish artist Francisco Goya between 1819 and 1823. The paintings are dark and somber scenes depicting intense suffering, violence, and just despair. Goya painted these works directly onto the walls of his home sometimes outside Madrid. There was a lot of political turmoil at the time when he was creating these works. He also experienced a serious illness in 1819 which left him deaf, further isolating him from the world. The paintings in the series reflect Goya's growing disillusionment with humanity. He just became very negative. The subjects of the paintings are varied. He didn't intend for them to be a part of a series. In fact, they weren't even uh, supposed to be publicly viewed at all. It was only after his death that these paintings were lumped into a series and given the name The Black Paintings. Goya created them in the privacy of his home as a way to cope with his own fears and anxieties, a form of therapy really for him, allowing him to express his darkest thoughts and emotions. Number seven, The Woman of the Rain. The Woman of the Rain is a mysterious painting created by the Ukrainian artist Svetlana Telitz in 1996. Telitz described experiencing this unusual, unsettling sensation before she even started working on this piece. She claimed to have felt as if someone or something had been watching her 
her for about six months leading up to the creation of the painting. During the painting process, she felt a strange sensation, like her hand was being guided by some other force, as if she were not in complete control of her own movements. The painting, this haunting depiction of a woman with a melancholic expression standing in the rain, quickly gained attention in the art world. It wasn't long before a series of disturbing incidents began to unfold among the people who had the painting in their possession. Several buyers reported an eerie presence in their homes. They'd complained of insomnia, having these terrifying nightmares, and very negative emotions that seemed to emanate from the artwork itself. Many of these disturbed owners were so affected by the painting's presence that they ultimately decided to return it, hoping to rid themselves of the disturbing energy that seemed to surround it. And legend has it that the woman of the rain depicted in the painting is more than just a figment of the artist's imagination. She is believed to be an actual entity capable of leaving the confines of the canvas. According to some tales surrounding the painting, the rain woman has the ability to manifest outside of her painted world, roaming about the homes of those who own the artwork at night and I gotta say this is there's something really eerie about this painting I agree I just I don't know if it's the hat or something but I yeah I don't know I don't like this one I don't like looking at it for too long next on the list we have the anguished man the anguished man is an infamous painting known for its eerie reputation and the urban legend surrounding it according to the legend the unknown artist who created the work mixed his own life fluid with the paint and not long after completing the work took his own life the painting was then stored away hidden from public eye until it found its way into the hands of sean robinson its current owner sean robinson received the painting from his grandmother who had kept it hidden away in her attic and she would often share stories about hearing disturbing noises emanating from the attic, like wailing and crying during the night. After inheriting the painting, Robinson claimed to have experienced unsettling occurrences in his home. His son reported falling down the stairs, feeling as if he were pushed by unseen hands. Objects in the house would occasionally move on their own. Just get rid of that painting, my God. And at a number five spot, we have Man Proposes, God Disposes by Edwin Landseer. The painting depicts two polar bears surrounded by the wreckage of a doomed Arctic expedition. One of the doomed Arctic expeditions we probably talked about on this channel. The title of the painting suggests that while humans can make plans and propose ideas, ultimately fate or a higher power represented by God or nature decides our outcome. The painting itself is not associated with any supernatural or malevolent powers, but there are urban legends and myths that surround it, particularly among students at Royal Holloway University of London. One of the, the biggest stories here is that students who would sit in front of the painting during an exam would fail it. Another urban legend involves a student who uh, took their own life after an exam, leaving a message that read, the polar bears made me do it on their exam paper. Number four, the Virgin Mary painting. There's a painting in St. Charbel's Church in Sydney uh, where a, a painting of the Virgin Mary seems to be moving its lips during a prayer one day, which uh, churchgoers uh, claimed to be a miracle. This would be a pretty creepy miracle in my opinion, the idea of pictures or paintings moving, that's always just giving me the creeps. If this is indeed a miracle, kind of a pointless one too. I mean like what would the Virgin Mary making her lips move in a painting be accomplishing exactly? Anyway, there's a video of this moving painting online. I can kind of see some movement, but it looks to me like the video itself is moving. Everything in the frame seems to be distorting, uh, but apparently there were a lot of witnesses who claimed to see the same thing, that her lips were moving, so I don't know. In number three, we have Portrait of a Lady by Juan Luna. Completed in 1890, the artwork features a woman said to be Luna's wife, Paz Pardo de Tavera, who he 
took the life of. There are stories about unfortunate events that occurred around the painting and to the various owners. People who have owned the painting have experienced accidents and even death. One incident involved its first owner, who suffered a tragic death shortly after acquiring the work. The painting then passed through a bunch of different owners, each reportedly experiencing unfortunate events, leading to the belief that the artwork carries some kind of curse. It's said that Paz's spirit is trapped in the painting, bringing misfortune to whoever comes in contact with it. Next up, we have the scariest picture on the internet. So looking at this image, you wouldn't think there's much to it. Kind of looks like an AI rendering, actually, looking back now. But uh, there's an early creepypasta associated with this image that started going around the internet in the 2000s. There are a couple versions of the story, but basically this portrait is of a woman who supposedly took her own life. There's a version of the tale where she painted the portrait herself. Another goes that her boyfriend painted it. No matter what the version, the image is said to be so cursed that staring at it for too long can bring some bad stuff your way. Some say that after a while her face will start to contort, becoming disfigured and monstrous. Another goes that a man became so intrigued by the image that led to a bit of an obsession. He just couldn't stop looking at it. And eventually, he took his own life. Finally, we have Ivan the Terrible and his son, Ivan, by Ilya Repin. This is a painting created by Russian artist Ilya Repin in 1885. The painting depicts a dramatic moment in Russian history, capturing the Tsar, Ivan, the fourth cradling his dying son, Ivan Ivanovich, shortly after delivering fatal blow to him in a fit of rage. The painting by Repin shows this heart-wrenching moment in hyper-realistic detail, emphasizing the grief and remorse on Ivan the Terrible's face as he realizes what he's done. It's all in the eyes here, pure torment, like terror and regret. When the painting was displayed, people began to have these very visceral reactions to it. Some would cry, others would have panic attacks, some people would reportedly faint, and some would snap into bursts of rage. One story goes that a painter by the name of Abram Balashov freaked out on the painting, slashing the canvas with a knife while screaming, stop the bloodshed. It is a very disturbing painting. Those eyes, I cannot get over those eyes. With all that said though, I've been your host James and I'll catch you, yes you specifically, in the next video. Mm -hmm.